Check one, two. There is a video on YouTube that's been kicking around for almost 10 years now. Some people have already found it. <laughs> Back when I was in high school, I was accepted into the New York State, um, they call it All State. It's like a, I was selected to be the piano player in the jazz band for All State, which at the time, coming from this tiny school where I graduated with like less than 40 kids. It felt like a really big deal. It's not that it wasn't. I mean, you know, it was obviously like a very cool thing that I got to do, but you know, it clearly didn't have any indication on my rank or whatever you want to call it as a pianist in, in the state. But regardless, it wasn't something that happened all that often. So the, the newspaper wanted to do a video on me. So they came to my house, a reporter came to my house with some equipment and, and he, we did this interview and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's something. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to, to watch that video and just see what, uh, what, what high school Charles had, had going on at that time. Uh, my name is Charles Cornell. Um, I'm 17. I go to Hartford Central School and I've recently been selected for this. I'm sorry. I, I went running earlier and it's not super warm out. And so I've got that chest thing and I'm a terrible where I haven't run in forever. So I keep coughing, but... Oh my god. No. <laughs> Why do I look like I have caterpillars for eyebrows? The lighting makes my eyes look like black. And I'm glad to see we made zero effort to set up the interview space. I could see stuff in the background on shelves and just a mess in my in my living room. Don't really know what uh, the thought process was with the hair there. <laughs> and I think I'm about 40 pounds lighter. Yikes. Uh, my name is Charles Cornell. Um, I'm 17. I go to Hartford Central School, and I've recently been selected for the Conference All State Jazz Ensemble on piano. He just kind of gave me this. He was like, "So just uh, so, you know, say your name, say your age, and uh, and and why we're here talking to you today." And like to deliver that yourself is just like super weird. And I had no experience at that point ever being on camera or anything like that. So I'm just kind of like, "Okay, act natural. Just say the th words." Uh, this is uh, an original tune that I wrote. And I will play a little bit for you. <laughs> I didn't even name it. I was like, I had no idea what to say. I, I remember the, the guy didn't give me like, there was so little direction. And, and he was just kind of like, yeah, so just, uh, I don't know, just, uh, you know, say something and then, and then tell us uh, what you're going to, what you're going to play for us. So let's hear this tune. And uh, I have watched this video before. This isn't like my first time seeing it, but I don't think I've watched it in probably six years or more. So I, I don't even remember like how it goes. <laughs> I forgot there's two camera angles. Woohoo! We are like, really? <laughs> this is a high scale production, this is. Conference All State works through um, the New York State School Music Association, which is better known as NISMA. When, when I was younger, I feel like a lot of young players have a tendency to fall into this trap where you learn how to play the instrument with like some technical proficiency, you know, cause I was also studying classical at this time and I, and I could play some technically uh, demanding pieces and whatnot. When you first learn how to improvise and you don't know any, you haven't heard enough jazz, you haven't like heard enough music, whether it's jazz or not, whatever you want to play to really understand voice and really understand like space. <laughs> And so uh, yeah, I just had this tendency of like, hey, I can play this instrument. Let me just fill up everything with as many notes as I possibly can. Students go and they um, perform a solo for adjudicators who will then score them and uh, add any comments and any advice that they have. Oh man, dude. The acne was real. <laughs> My, my whole growing up, that was, uh, it was very, like, very genetic in my family. Like, my brother had it. That was a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blue scale for the win. Oh, no. I know that I'm the second student in Hartford's history to attend the conference. They asked me for that piece of information. It was just like one of these trivial facts, but it's just like, you can't deliver that line and not sound like a jerk. <laughs> I 
somebody would would go back to that person and just be like, hey, metronomes are cool. I like how I'm also playing as if I have a bass player with me because I, I just wasn't really capable of playing solo piano. So I was playing everything just with all these cluster chords like I had a bass player covering the low parts. Dude, st dude, stop playing the blue scale. I also play the alto saxophone um, and the trumpet. What, what is my delivery? Like what? I, I sound like a robot. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I remember this part. I remember this part. Watch this. Oh my god. I had no idea what to do because the guy didn't like... He didn't say anything. So I, I'm just... I finished the piece. And then I'm like... What do I do now? So watch... Watch this. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, this is so, this is so weird. <laughs> what? The, oh my god! Oh, that was rough. <laughs> what on earth? You know, it's funny because like people get mad at you like when you go back and listen to something old or you watch a video of yourself from a long time ago and you're just you can't just do anything but cringe. And I understand that because their point is like, but you you were so good for, you know, for where you were and for your age and everything. And I'm like, okay, you know, I, I, I appreciate that. And, and I had put in a lot of work and I was getting better all the time and everything. But it's just one of those things where I know a lot of you guys are musicians. So you're, you know, you know this, like if you listen to something from way back, <laughs> before you got good and you're just like oh my god like why did i ever think this was okay and yeah i mean of course we were younger and everything but still it doesn't make it any less painful to go back and see now but oh my god the awkwardness <laughs> it's really bad in my defense like i said i was they, they didn't say anything i finished the t i picked my hands up and like silence but the best part is they left it in the video <laughs> <laughs> so great. That's such a difficult video to make anyways, like where you're asking somebody like, tell us about your accomplishments. What a weird position to put somebody in, you know? And so the delivery obviously comes off as being like bizarre. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's, is this my, is this my chart? Well, there you go. Screenshot if you want to, uh, <laughs> if you want to learn like the worst song ever that I wrote when I was 16 or whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can... Did I really write that? Are you serious? Did I seriously write? I wrote... I wrote a B flat. That is... Yeah, I wrote a B flat over a D minor 7 chord. guessing I probably went something like that. I mean, the changes are, are pretty, pretty standard, but uh, I see where I was going, but yeah, uh, just not, uh, not going to cut it. <laughs> so anyways, I, I'll put a link to the original video uh, in the description if you want to go see it. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if, if, if that, if the newspaper does anything with their YouTube channel really anymore, but if all of a sudden you, you guys all go watch the video. They're gonna be like, what the hell's going on? Because as far as I know, I think only like one publication from back home has has even really taken notice of, of what I've been up to uh, recently. So that'll that probably be a very bizarre experience to all of a sudden be like, oh, what's all this trap? Where's all this traffic coming from all of a sudden? <laughs> I think it's safe to say I've come, I've come quite a ways since then. But uh, I guess that's the whole point, right? So anyways, that's it. Um, <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching. And... Uh, now this is, now this is really out there forever. <laughs> hey, I guess we all got to start somewhere. So thanks for watching again. Please uh, hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you like my content, I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. And it won't be so awkward. <laughs>